the marriage counselor is about this character named Judith, played by Journey Smollett, to perfection. And she you know, was raised in the church, raised by her mother, met the man of her dreams, had, to, had a wonderful life, but she was completely bored. She, gets, she, she wants to be a marriage counselor, and she finally ends up getting a job uh, working for a matchmaker because she had graduated college like a lot of kids do and find themselves not being able to get the job they want and not being happy in the life that she had. And she met a man that at work that changed her life, literally changed everything about her life and challenged everything about her relationship. And with all of her, her education and with all of the psycholo psychological knowledge that she knew about marriage counseling and relationships, none of it worked on her. She could give all the best advice, but she couldn't, she, she couldn't find the use for it in her own life. Bryce is played by Lance Gross, who was on my show, House of Pain, and I've watched his, his acting and his abilities grow and soar. And what I'm so excited about with him with this role is because it gives people an opportunity to see him be somebody else. And he is um, a fantastic character, richly layered, because he never thought he was taking his wife for granted. Never even, it never even crossed his mind, because all he was doing was a living. But until you have somebody show you what you're missing, you don't really know. Judith's idea of, of her job was to be a marriage counselor. That's all she wanted. But coming out of college, all she could find was this job with this matchmaker who played by uh, Vanessa Williams. <laughs> it's so funny. She plays this matchmaker. And she is the in-house therapist who has to screen the clientele before they're allowed to join. The character of Harley is played by Robbie Jones, and he does a fantastic job at the character. And what I love about Harley and Judith is that they are the spark for each other. There are two people you can put in the room and they will be oil and water, but there are two, there are other people that you put in the room and they are gasoline in the match. And the two of them, she was the gasoline and he was the match and it became explosive. It was a powder keg for them for many, many years. Um, as, as their relationship went through the growth and turmoil and what it turned into because of her own choices and her own decisions. Bill Cosby said to me years ago, he said, there's a child that you need to pay attention to, Journey Smollett. I had never heard of her, and I saw her on the show about a year or two after he said that. But I watched her grow up, and I had no idea she had the amount of gears and levels that she has and can paint the colors that she does until she worked on this movie with me. Journey is brilliant. She's a brilliant actor, and I just can't wait to see what happens for her in the future. She is brilliant, and this is her first leading role, and she anchors it and holds it. And the character can be unlikable, but she finds a way to make you love her all the way through. The great thing about, about having a, somebody like Lance, who's a character actor, and putting him together with somebody like a journey, when the two of them came together, it was just what I thought it would be. That electricity, that unspoken energy in the air, that that young love that, that and I want that's another thing about this movie I wanted the cast to be younger because it's a cautionary tale so I wanted it to speak to more of the 20 year old crowd even though my 30 and 40 year old crowd and 50s and 80s who have been with me all along will still enjoy it I wanted to, it to specifically speak to a younger crowd that's why I cast it the way that I did and the two of them together it is it is electric on screen it's electricity I wrote this role, which is Ava, which is perfect for her, small role that she delivered in. She completely, 100% delivered in. She's hysterical. She, she, she takes every beat and every moment. I was very proud of the work she did in the movie. Let me tell you, if you get an opportunity to work with an icon like Vanessa Williams, you take it. You know, I just wish I had a much bigger role for her because she was fantastic. And I love, uh, I love the work ethic of, of you know, that generation, my generation, and a little older. The work ethic is just so amazing. To so to have all these young people on the set and show them how it goes and then to have her come in and blow the doors off the place, I mean, come on, she could do no wrong. What I enjoyed most about this movie was definitely the talent. The cast, I mean, it feels different from anything that I've done before. The cast was so raw and so real. They did such a fantastic job. And the eagerness of the young people to, to make sure it was right, that really inspired me.